Hello, and welcome back for more pu- uh, squeaky history. And you can thank my friend Simon for sending me this article, and I am going to ruin French toast and perfume and beavers. Right, here we go. So, in the middle, epilepsy treatments were terrible in ancient Rome. Many of them involved using every part of the donkey except for the hee-haw, which I'm pretty sure that they would have used if they could have found a way to isolate it. <clears throat> By the Christian Middle Ages, they were using castoreum, which is an, an ingredient in vanilla and in some perfumes. It's uh, a rather musky smelling substance that comes from the anal gland of beavers. That is, there are castorium glands located under the tail of a beaver. Did I mention that history and epilepsy treatments from the ages are really, really gross? Um, now, we've gone through the crazy when it comes down to epilepsy and there were so many changes that developed including how people looked at it whether it was a curse from the gods or whether it was a sacred disease whether or not it was some way of learning to be strong because whether it was a punishment for something, because some people are really, really grotesque and like to say that pain is punishment and will bring you closer to God. Ma, I met a lovely lady who told me that when my kidney failed, that I just needed to become closer to God. And this was his way of bringing me closer. Now, I don't know about you, but if I want to become close to someone, I make them cookies. I don't inflict horrific pain on them, but whatevs. So that is beaver butt lens as medicine to go along with your pig testicles and your donkey nuts. So, what a wonderful world this is, huh? We have, oh gosh, it's just bollocks, but I mean, I'm not sure how well it worked. I don't really want to try, but then again, beaver butt secretions are available in strange places. And, uh... yeah. Other, um, nowadays, epilepsy affects 3.3 3 .3 million people in the United States, one in 26, and medication has come a long way, baby, to quote those Newport ads. And we're no longer really relying on the humble beaver. I guess they leave that for the perfume and food industries. However, it's gotten a lot better. Nowadays, only about one in five people with epilepsy is considered intractable. Most, there are so many compounds, so many different types of sodiums, so many different medications that have been shown to be effective. And if they're not effective, then there's always something new on the market. There are treatments and there are diets. So we've come a long way from balls and butts. Thank the good heavens. But I know if you, if you see a beaver, you know, thank them today. 